Hello friends, in this series of videos, I am going to talk to you about one of the most important concept of maths called interest because this is one of the concept which you are going to use throughout your life. Not just addition, not just subtraction, multiplication, division, fraction, but evenly interest is a concept when you grow up, you go to any field, you are going to use it. Let's know why. Let's say Sukram is a farmer and he needs to take a loan, say for example to buy some seeds or something for his farm. He wants to take a loan, he wants to borrow money. So he goes to a bank, we know bank is the place where you can deposit money or you can take loans. So he goes to a nearby bank and he says, hey bank manager, can you give me a loan? The bank manager says, sure, I can. How much loan you want? He says, I need to borrow 10,000 rupees for one year, which I'm going to use in my farm. So the bank manager says, that's fine. I'll give you 10,000 rupees for one year, but you need to return to me 11,000 rupees after one year. So Sukram borrowed 10,000 rupees for one year from the bank. That is the loan he has taken from the bank and he returns 11,000 rupees after one year to the bank. So he borrowed 10,000 rupees and he has to return 11,000 rupees to the bank. So this extra money which he paid, he's just not returning 10,000 rupees. He's returning 11,000. So the extra money which he paid is 11,000 minus 10,000, which is 1,000 rupees he paid extra to the bank. So this is interest. So interest is the extra money paid by the Sukram for the loan he took from the bank. If he takes 10,000 rupees, returns 10,000 rupees, then how is bank going to run, right? Bank also needs some money to keep running, to pay to his salaries for his people, office, etc., right? So this is what is the interest which bank charged to Sukram when it gave the loan for 10,000 rupees. And Sukram paid 11,000 rupees, so 1,000 rupees extra bank got. Let's take a reverse case. This is a case of making deposit. Sukram had good crop this year. So he decided to put his surplus money into the bank. So he goes to the bank and he tells to the branch manager, I am going to do a fixed deposit of 10,000 rupees for a period of one year. This 10,000 rupees I am having extra this time. I want to keep it. What can you give me back after one year? So the bank manager says, that's fine. I'm going to use this 10,000 rupees to give loans to other people. So he returns, says, I will return you 10,800 rupees after one year. So Sukram is in this case making a deposit of 10,000 rupees to the bank for one year. And bank is giving to Sukram 10,800 rupees after one year. So Sukram in this case deposited 10,000 rupees and he received 10,800 rupees. So bank paid him an interest of 10,800 minus 10,000 that is 800 rupees extra for his fixed deposit. So in this case, interest is the extra money paid by bank to Sukram for his fixed deposit. The first case was where Sukram took a loan of 10,000 and then he returned 11,000. Here is a case where Sukram is not taking a loan, not borrowing the money. Instead, Sukram is depositing money of 10,000 and he received 10,800 rupees after one year. That is, his money has increased. Right? So, there are two cases, very common cases where interest is going to be used when taking a loan and when making a deposit. This case is the investment case where you are investing your money, you are putting in the bank and bank is giving you back something extra. The previous case is when you are borrowing the money or you are taking the loan. And this is what you are going to do throughout your life. No matter where you go, you, you run your business, you go for job, you are going to take loans like house loan and you are going to make fixed deposits or investment, right? So you need to understand the concept of interest very nicely. You must be wondering why there was a difference in the interest amount I took. When Sukram borrowed 10,000 rupees from the bank as loan, he paid 1,000 rupees extra to bank as the interest after one year. And vice versa, you saw when Sukram deposited 10,000 rupees into the bank, 
he received 800 rupees from bank as interest not 1000 rupees why is that difference that is what is really the earning of the bank right the way bank works is it takes money from the deposits and then it gives as loan to other people so what is happening is somebody has made a deposit of 10000 rupees bank might give a loan of 10000 to somebody else right so bank is basically taking this 1000 rupees extra received when somebody returns the loan and same way it gives 200 rupees it keeps for itself and 800 it gives to the person who deposited the money if it was equal value then how is bank going to work it gave loan for 10000 rupees and got back 1000 um, rupees extra and somebody deposited 10000 and it give 1000 back to that person then how is bank going to earn right so that is why the rate of deposit is less than what you get as rate of loan and your goal as a person not just as a math student in your grade when you grow up your goal always should be whenever you are taking a loan from a bank or from a money lender you should ensure that you are paying least interest because you are, that is the extra money you are paying for the same period of loan take a loan where you are going to pay least interest the extra money whenever you are taking loan and whenever you are depositing the money into bank or anywhere else you should ensure you are getting most amount for the same period so always remember interest is great when you're depositing money try to see you can get more and more money back so that your investment is increasing but if you are taking a loan try to take the loan with least interest which you need to pay that's the extra money going out from your pocket so that's all in this lesson children think through about it just not apply the formula this is a very important concept learn it this will be very helpful for your life bye bye